All right, pinball fans, today I'm going to do a quick video on how to manually update your um, basic pinball files. So this doesn't matter if you're on Baller or a custom setup, or if you're just desktop, whatever you're doing, this will be the um, basic files that they basically update every day. Um, so if you don't want to wait for a popper update or whatever, if you want to play the newest tables, um, I'm going to put the links down below, show you where to get the files and um, what files exactly that you need out of the download so all right let's get started I'll just go in order of what I have saved up here so the first one is um, VPX of course this is a uh, new 10.8 I'll send the link it'll be to the master list um, you're gonna grab the top one so we're gonna go here to be able to download these files you must have a github account so basically make sure you get a github account and you have a login once you log in then you'll be able to see these files and download them so what I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab the 10.8 release 64 bit I'll download that and then I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna grab the GL release release 64 alright and if for some reason you want the 10.8 32-bit, you could grab the release right here. Uh, the only problem with that one, I'll go ahead and get it and just to show you, you're going to have to rename the EXE because it will override your 10.7 EXE because it's in the same name. So then we're going to open up um, our setup. And like I said, it don't matter what kind of setup you're on. You just need to find your visual pinball folder. And it needs to look like this. This is where your EXEs are, as you can see. And I actually have 10.8 and I named it vpinballx32.exe so this is actually my 10.8 32-bit um, and of course the 10.7 32-bits down here um, that comes with baller so we won't override that so this is the last one I downloaded this is the x86 which is 10.8 32-bit you're gonna grab everything except the exe and you won't need a tables folder so we're going to drag this over here we're going to override now i'm going to take this exe out i'm going to put it on my desktop and i'm going to rename it and like i said i named mine uh, if you look down here i named mine v pinball x 32 so we're just going to name it that. The Pinball X32. Now I'm going to override that one. Here we go. Alright, so now we have the um, DirectX 64 bit version. You don't have to rename anything of these because it's named V Pinball X64. So basically you're going to grab everything except the tables folder, drag it over, replace, just like that. That's all you need. We'll go ahead and get, um, what else I download? The GL version. Same thing with GL, grab everything except for tables. You can drag tables over too, but... I've already had them in there a million times. All it gives you is the screen res, the nudge, and the, the just basically test tables. You don't need those. But if for some reason you want them, you can drag them over. It won't hurt anything. All right, so that's it. We've just updated um, VPX. All right. So now the next thing we'll do, we're going to go to VPN main. We're going to click the top list here. Update one. And you want the two versions, the SC64 and 32-bit. So I'm grab both of these. Then you're going to go to your VPN main folder. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you go to VPN main. And all you need, we're going to take the DLLs. There's two DLLs and a setup. All right. We're going to drag it over replace same thing DLL 64 bit that's all you need you don't want to 
drag your VPM alias over because it will replace the one you have and if you've added new tables and stuff it'll overwrite and you basically when you'd have to put them all back again if there's anything new on the list you could open it up look and see if there's anything new on here that you don't have on yours and you could uh, copy them and paste them and post them on your VP VPN alias so I see a few new ones here um, but like I said if you want them you could just take them copy them whatever and put them on your list. All right, now that you've copied those over, um, unless you're on a really old setup, you don't have to run the setups, but you can. It won't hurt to go ahead and hit setup, hit install, yes, just like that. Close it out. Setup 64, install, just like that. Um, you can check your defaults here, setup defaults. This is kind of what I always keep mine on. You can look at it. Um, don't have alt sound on unless you're running alt sound so I keep that off as a default I use color as a default if you don't like color being your default setup uh, you can always uncheck that of course you want to use external DMD uh, the other DMD is uh, VPN main so you won't show that alright so we'll quit that then the next link we're going to go to is going to be the B2S server Go ahead and there. This is a new uh, ten or uh, two point one two. We're gonna grab the release version. Make sure you don't grab debug of anything. Grab the release. Now we're gonna go to the tables folder wherever your tables folder is at. V pin main tables. Or some people have moved their setup. It's wherever your B two S setup is at the default should be the tables folder. I know some people make videos and they move their B2S server to VPN MAME or some other server or some other you know folder wherever your B2S is set up that's where these files need to go. I keep mine default in the tables folder so basically you want to grab every one of these. We're going to grab all of these, we're going to drag them in, replace, alright. Then once you do that we're going to go to the uh, registration app, B2S Backclass Server Registration app, right click. We're going to run as admin. Hit yes. Okay, yes. Just like that. Alright, once we got that registered, let's see what else we got. So that's done with B2S. Now we have uh, Flex DMD. There's 1.9.1. We're going to go here and we're just going to grab the Flex DMD zip. Now that goes in your VPN main folder. So we're going to go back. We're going to go to VPN main. And we're just going to grab all this. I'm going to drag it in. Replace. And then we're going to go down to the Flex DMD UI.exe. We're going to click that. And you want to make sure that you have green checks on everything. If, if you don't, hit register. If for some reason these are red, hit register, register. It all should be green, just like that. Then also, you want at the top, you want to click Ultra DMD Setup. You want to make sure this is in full color. Make sure full color is checked. And that's it. Close that out. Alright. Then after that, we got Freezy. So this is the new Freezy 2.2.2. You want to download the 64 zip and the x86 zip. So we're going to grab both of these. And there again, that goes in VPN MAME and we're already here. So all you need now for some reason you want to grab all of them you can but really all you need is the um, DMD device dot DLL that's really it the DLL is all you need um, if you have a real old EXE you could use the EXE too um, now if you are on a pin to DMD screen you know like a like a DMD you probably don't want to update to Freezy. I know there's some issues with uh, the plugins and having color and all that. But if you're just uh, using LCD, um, 
then this is perfectly fine. Also, if you're on a very old setup, you're going to need to use this DMD device.ini. Um, so what you'll have to do, you'll have to go and find yours. You need to find your DMD device.ini, and I suggest you copy it. You can drag it out to your desktop or whatever, because you're going to need the locations and the uh, size and stuff for your DMD. So I'll show you that right quick. We will drag this out. We're going to open it up. And you can look at your settings. Now this is the one that comes with Baller, so it's already set. I, I really don't need to override it. But if for some reason, like I said, you're not on Baller or the latest Freezy, you won't have all this stuff. You're going to need the VNI key. Um, you need to enable your DMD. Uh, and then you're going to have your position of your DMD and the size. So you want to copy these numbers. And then at the very bottom, you're going to have all your locations where you've saved if you've saved any DMD locations. So basically you just copy them and paste them into the new one. So we're going to take replace that. And then we got the 64 bit, the DLL and the XC, that's all. That's all you need. I'm going to put my DMD device to INI back in. But like I said, in this case you're not on the new, and this is how you can tell, you can open it up. So here's the INI. It should look like this. It'll have these plugins and the VNI key. Okay? If your DMD device does not have this, you need to update to this new one. And like I said, you can copy, take your old one out copy your DMD position size and location and your saved DMD locations and you can paste them into this this new one and then you can go over the other settings and make sure you've uh, set them however you have it set alright let's see what else we got here that should be it so that's it we did VPX, VPN MAME, B2S, Flix DMD and Freezy that's all everything set up. That's everything updated till today or whatever you, whenever you go to uh, download the files. Like I said, it's a good thing to check the GitHub for all the files. Um, and if you have issues, so let's go to VPN main because they've had a lot of issues here lately and people have been posting. So if just say you update it and you have an issue with a table or something other and you, you really can't figure you can come here and look and see um, issues that other people have already posted and they're having um, and then uh, you can post here what your issue is and then someone could either help you it, it could be an issue with VPN MAME and it could be just an issue with your setup either way um, and you can always go to my discord channel and uh, you know message me there and I'll try to uh, help you out if I can alright so till next time guys I hope that helps you guys out um, have a good one.